Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now and that is an everyday fall makeup. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna use two brush sets that I just got from Royal and Langnickel and I love them. I buy their brushes pretty much every single time I go to iMats. So I'm quite familiar with their brand and they're sponsoring this video. I've done like three sponsored videos in a row, which is just crazy. I had absolutely no intention of having sponsored videos this close together. Um, I'm pretty aware that some people don't like that, but that's just the way that my video schedule worked out this week. But with that aside, these are the brushes that I will be using in this tutorial. This is the 12-piece synthetic brush set, and this one is called Love is Trusting. I like this one because of the colors. I think they're so cute. That brush set also came with a little travel box that snaps together. I also used two brushes from the Moda Total Face brush set, and this comes with six little brushes brushes and this is also like the perfect size for traveling. I will have everything in the description box as always in case you guys are curious about whatever I used in this video and if you want to see how to get this everyday fall makeup look then just keep watching. So I'm going to start out by using my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and I'm just applying that with my fingers and then I'm going to blend it out with one of the brushes from the Moda brush collection. And then to brighten up underneath my eyes a little bit more, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer and then also blending that out with the same brush. For my foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation and I'm just applying that to the outer parts of my face. I'm not really going over where I put my concealer because I want that to stay pretty bright. And then I'm blending it out with the other bigger brush from the Moda brush set. And for my eyebrows, I'm using my Maybelline Brow Satin Pencil and just filling them in. I'm kind of sculpting them a little bit more than I normally would. I don't know why, I just kind of felt like it. And then I'm setting them with my Essence Clear Lash and Brow Gel. And I went in kind of a weird order here, but I realized I forgot to powder my face, so I went ahead and did that using the powder brush from the Love is Trusting set. And then I went back to my brows and I used the Billion Dollar Brows Brow Duo Pencil and I used the highlighter side just to draw a line underneath my eyebrows and blend it out. I just wanted it to be really highlighted and like defined, I guess. I don't usually do this, but I just kind of felt like doing that today. And then I moved on to my eyeshadow. So the first color I'm using is a matte brown. This is a really warm colored brown. I will put the names of everything in the description box and the brands and all that, just because I don't actually know the names of them right now. But then I went in with a darker, even more warm toned brown. And I just put that in the very outer corner of my eyes and made sure that I blended it out after I applied it and I kind of just kept building it up to the intensity that I wanted it to be. And this color might look a little bit scary, but I'm only going to use the tiniest bit of this and I'm going in with a fluffy angled brush and I'm just lightly blending that into the crease in the outer corner of my eye to give it even more warmth. I think that kind of color looks really pretty for the fall. And then for the lower part of my lid and the inner half, I'm only just going to put this like shimmery nude color on. And then I'm lining my eyes just slightly with this really gross looking brown eyeshadow. I've just depotted it and it kind of got like cracked and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just like doing a really thin smoky line on my top lash line. And then with that same color that I used in the crease, I'm just blending that right onto the outer half of my bottom lash line to kind of make the whole look a little bit more cohesive. And then for the inner corner, I'm using this face powder by Too Faced, and it's actually a brightening kind of face powder, so it's not really a highlighter, but I do like to use it for that. And then I put on some mascara. I didn't show it because I show it all the time, and you guys probably know what to do with that. And then for my blush, I used a color called Melba by MAC. This is actually one of my favorite blushes, but I don't use it very often, which is really weird, but it's like the perfect fall color. Then I used the Too Faced powder again, and I just used it as a very subtle highlight on the tops of my cheekbones. And then to finish everything off, I used this MAC lipstick in the color Fresh Brew, which is like a gray tone brown. I also think that this color is really great for the fall. So that is the finished makeup tutorial and I hope you guys liked it. 
and that is it for my everyday fall makeup tutorial. I really hope that you guys liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, I want you guys to start leaving me Halloween video requests in my comments section because I'm going to start filming some Halloween tutorials soon. So if you have any requests or suggestions, then feel free to leave them below. And that is all that I have to say, so I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye!